the first guy to say this is a great performance for you? Uh, one other person mentioned the performance. Otherwise. He's, he's very self-effacing. He, yeah. he still isn't shy. I'm like, from the minute I saw, you know, you're on set, and then I saw the dailies, I was like, he's just wow. so unaffected and relaxed and, and genuine. Yeah. I think he's how, how did you approach his character? Because he's different than most journalists. I mean, he's very sympathetic towards the people that he's, yeah. in a way, exposing. Well, that's what we talked about. We talked about where this guy is in his career. And I think that's where he was at a point where, you know, it was a blend of mid-career, end of career, mid-life, what have I done, am I, you know, he's, he's drawn to each side of the story and, and he's kind of lost the love for what he has done. And then this, this story comes along and kind of pulls him back in and then the couple, you know, the, the, what, what, what's go, what they're going through kind of affects him on a different level than, all, you know, he's always tried to been removed from the story, but he can't. Um, so yeah, I approached it as a guy who's kind of searching. He's kind of, he's kind of in this spot where this kind of thing could affect him. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It's it works. Kind of, yeah, it kind of works. I mean, it's, <laughs> if you take your own life and you put it in there, because, uh, you know, I'm going, you, you know, we're going. I'm, I'm the same age as him, so I'm kind of going through my own little searchingness. So, you just bring it into that character. Yeah, the yeah. character. Well, it's based on somewhat of a true story. What was yes. it about the real story that fascinated you as a director and made you want to tell this story in the film? Well, I, I love true crime, and I always feel the true crime that you've not really heard much about, the kind of the obscure in the margins, off to the sides, true crime stories are really the most fascinating to adapt, you know. So when I got sent the script by Jonathan Fernandez, I felt it reminded me a lot of Dog Day Afternoon, which mm -hmm. is a favorite movie of mine, because it's, a, it's an event that has real relevance to the people in it, and it's a mad event, just like, you know, just like it is in Dog Day Afternoon. Um, but it's also a story that you maybe heard of or maybe didn't, and, it, and that, to me, makes it even more poignant. It's like, ultimately, they did this big, audacious, mad thing. It deeply affected their lives. It obviously, it ended their lives. Um, it also, in some ways, affected the mob in a way that they never anticipated it would. But ultimately, it's not, you're not telling a grand scale crime story. You're telling a, one that's centered on lives, not, not on history. Right. Well, obviously, it's a mob movie, and you did some great kind of casting in this with half the cast of The Sopranos. You got Kathy Moriarty, yeah. Andy Garcia, Burt Young, and of course, Ray. I mean, can you tell me about sort of bringing all those guys and how they really, with their mob film experience, sort of added to the gravitas of the film? Yeah, I mean, I, I loved the idea of not only casting great actors, but iconic uh, actors from, you know, so you're almost in a kind of a meta mob film, right. you know, here's... Here's Bert. Here's so there's the representation of Once Upon a Time in America. You know, here's Andy. Here's a piece of The Godfather. Here's you know Joe Gannascoli or Michael Raspoli from Soprano. You know, so I just I love the idea. Kathy from Raging Bull. Kathy from Raging yeah. Bull. And yeah, I mean all of these guys and and they're great. You know, they're New York. The thing about shooting in New York is those guys are there and they'll do it. They're game if it's a good part and they see that you're really kind of sincere about why you want them in and that you're going to give them the space to do some good work, you know, it's never like you're negotiating for a year with the agent. Yeah. They're, they're uh, last thing I want to ask you both about real quick is Nina is incredible in this. Yeah. What a great just breakout yeah. performance. Can you talk about working with her and, and, and directing her? Well, I've never heard of her and, and I don't think a lot of people will, will have. She's from Broadway and uh, we have the same agent. So <laughs> when they told me uh, about her, I, I looked her up and yeah, she's everything you said. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's a she's a force of nature. She's a she's like a world class champ, and she's just got out of the gate in the last couple of years. So yeah, she's, yeah. yeah we're very really very great, great person too. She came to set when I was doing the phone call to her. She didn't have to be there, and she came to set to to do, you know, to do it yeah. offline. Yeah, oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. she was really that's fun. Given awesome, yeah. great great movie, great performance. Thanks, Thanks so right, much, guys. Thank great you. talking. Yeah, great right, talking. Right.